All right, we're out digging in the forest out here. Uh, I got the max. Got a pretty good signal here that was reading deep, about 77 or so. And I've just popped out what looks like a mini ball down in the hole. And see, I got the pro pointer all the way completely down in the hole. Uh, probably nine inches or more. Let's see if that's what that is. Yep. Civil War bullet right there. I'll take it. Nice little three ringer. All right, looks like I got another mini ball here. Just measured it. It's down below the edge digger. We'll call that about nine, ten inches. See it right down there sticking out. There we go. Looks like a Williams cleaner. Nice solid base. Nice little bullet. Deep, deep, deep in the ground. Popping them out. I like it. All right, I got a good signal here. It's a 72. Let me see if I can take another scoop out. It seems like it's deeper in there. Take another couple scoops here, then we'll go in with a pinpointer. All right, let's see if that got it. Out of the hole. All right, it's right in here. What do we got? There we go, right there. Another bullet, probably about eight inches deep. All right, that makes about eight today. Doing pretty good. Digging them deep here, AT Max. Put them in the pocket, let's keep on going. All right, so here's Miguel with the find of the day. Went out there, got tired of taking pictures. Got out an AT Pro, got him a naval artillery shell, a Mullane shell, Confederate shell, about 150 pounds. I carried it out of there too. Let's see you lift that thing, come on. Oh, it's, it's heavy. I'll give you a workout. 100, 150 pounds easily. Good Lift work. it over your head four or five times. Yeah, they ain't gonna have that. <laughs> <laughs> Down motor walls. I mean, yeah, yeah, hitting all the Trying down. to figure out what kind of shell this actually is. I think it's got to be a bolt. I mean, that feels just like a hundred pound bolt. It's on there. Though. Want to do too much more yeah. to it. So right now, got the sun just re getting ready to come up. We're gonna get a boat here in a minute and go across with uh, our buddies Dan and Aqua Chigger and see if we can do anything this morning. Looks like some nice calm weather, pretty flat out here. So looking forward to seeing what we, what we might come up with. All right, there comes our boat this morning. We've got Dan and Rusty getting ready to gear up, head across the water, see if we can get into some colonial stuff. And there's our early morning ride coming at us. Where are we going, Mr. Bo? Out. Go. Little adventure? Huh? We good? No, you got to at least cover your knees. Adventure. <laughs> you have to work once in a while, don't you? Once in a while. When I'm around you, it seems. Oh. When I'm around you, I'm like just having a good time and <laughs> splashing around. Here we go, we're setting out, getting our gear out of the boat, getting ready to do some shallow hunting here in this salty water. It's an old colonial site. As far as what I got so far, I've got a mini ball. Uh, it's pretty cool because you still got the gray color. Looks just like it looked the day it was dropped out here as opposed to the ones I was digging yesterday that was all white with the patina on them. 
This is just as gray as it can be. No coins yet, but we're gonna keep on digging and maybe we'll come up with something good here. Oh, we're still out hunting here at the water along the edge. And we got Brian and them over there filming a few little spots. All right, Pete, you ready? Ready. Here All we right. Go. We're off. Let's go. Doing some more water hunting. There's Bo and Dan, Rusty, out there by an old duck blind, working our way around this point here, looking for Civil War, maybe Rev War type stuff. There's Miguel waving. There's me and Pete working back up this way. Gonna keep working up and down the coast, see if we can find something here. I think uh, so far Bo's got a large scent, and uh, a couple of bullets and buttons have come up. Let's keep on going. All right, we're still digging in Virginia. Today we're out in some uh, farmland out in the region not too far from Culpeper. Uh, had a little bit of hunting on the water the past couple days with Bo and Dan. Uh, some of the guys found some nice coins, a couple of reals, uh, a couple of old King George copper coins. I got uh, some bullets and a couple of buttons and stuff like that. Not near as good as Dan and the boys, but uh, had a lot of fun with them as always. Uh, next couple days we're gonna be hunting Highly mineralized ground, working with the AT Max here, seeing how it does here on this farm and also at Culpeper tomorrow. We've got uh, a little bit of Irma coming up into Florida, up into South Carolina, so we're going to hope the weather stays good, but today it's supposed to be nice. Going to have the uh, Hoover boys coming out and joining us, so we're going to keep on hunting here and uh, hopefully I can dig a couple things on camera. So let's see how it goes. All right, we got the Hoover boys, four fifths of them anyway. They decided to show up and do a little hunting with us here today. Absolutely. Got a brand new machine here. Hopefully it'll be some luck. Maybe get another mini ball just Hopefully. like the one you got right there. Let's add to that collection. Yeah. Brad, the star of the box. Kurt, the boss man. Bob, Mr. Copper. Copper, <laughs> that's a pretty invite. Let's do it. All right, I got my first good target of the morning. Had a good uh, solid 60s and 70s reading here. And we'll look down in the hole. And we have us a mini ball. This is in hot soil, reading about 91 on the AT Max. Probably about uh, five inches, so not super deep, but good, strong uh, hit. I'll take it. On we go. All right, we're up digging on top of this hill, and the Hoover boys are having some luck. Bill's got a couple of buttons, an eye button, and another eagle button of some sort. Kurt down there has got a plate, a U.S. plate already, and I have just got another mini ball right there, another uh, three ringer. Well, maybe I can get lucky and get a plate like Kurt, but if not, I'll take a Civil War bullet. All right, we're still working the hilltop up there over by the cattle. Nice Virginia mountain view in the background back there, working around the farm. Just got a little signal here in the iron, dug it out pretty deep, flipped it out, and there's mini ball number three for the morning. Working them out. This place has been pounded pretty hard, but uh, scratching out some targets out of this uh, hot soil here in the Culpeper area on this old farm. Reading's about 91, so it's hot soil. 
but it's not real jumpy. Once you ground balance, it stays real steady and consistent, gives you a target ID. So on we go. All right, here's one more target back in the backfield. You got a round ball in the hole, plucking it out. Smaller cali caliber uh, round ball, probably uh, Civil War era. Nice. I'm being filmed, filming him, yeah. filming this, filming you. U.S. plate, just came out of the hole, back of a 1700s house, this is the third one, let's see what you guys, let's see yours, mine's in the truck. we'll get a shot in a minute, third plate today coming out, how nice is that, that's beautiful, gotta like it, gotta like it, right there, that's the workhorse, Three plate day, baby. Three plate day.